Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the double-sided business card mock-up in Photopea. Just go to photopea.com in any web browser, and you would click Open from Computer to open the mock-up. I've already got it open in this tab here. So once it's open, you're going to be doing all your work in this Layers panel. So just click on Window, and then click on Layers to bring up the Layers panel if you don't see it. In order to add your design, just click the arrow next to the business card layer group and then click the arrow next to either the business card top or business card bottom layer group and just double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash business card layer and that's going to bring up our smart object you can just find your smart um, find your design off the computer by going to file open And then click on your design and click open. And once it loads, just go to select all and then edit copy. And click back on the smart object tab and go to edit paste. And if you needed to resize it, you could just go to edit free transform. <coughs> And then click and drag any of the four corners to resize your image. And once you've got it sized the way you want, just go to File, Save Smart Object. And once it says Smart Object Updated, you can click the X to close the Smart Object tab. And then click the X to close the original graphics. You'll see it added the design of the business card just like that. And you just repeat the steps for the bottom business card. So we'll click the arrow in the business card bottom layer, and then double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash business card layer. And now we just want to open the back side. So we'll go to File Open, find the design for the back side off the computer. And then go to Select All, then Edit, Copy. Click back on the Smart Object tab, and go to Edit, Paste. And if you needed to resize it, you could always go to Edit, Free Transform again. And once you're done, just click on File, and then Save Smart Object. And we'll click the X to close the Smart Object tab and the original graphics. And now we got both designs on there. If you wanted to change the color of the business card, you could do that. So I'm just going to click the eye icon in the design dash layer to hide it temporarily. And to change the color, just double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash business card layer. And that's going to bring up our color picker. You can just click anywhere in the rainbow slider to change the color. And then click in the gradient box to change the lightness and darkness of the color. Or if you know color values, you could enter them. If you wanted to use the same color for the front, you could just click in the box next to the pound sign, and then drag to select, and press Control c to copy on a PC, or Command-C on a Mac. And then we'll click the arrow to expand the layer for the top business card. And we'll hide the design temporarily by clicking the eye icon. And just double click the thumbnail icon for the color layer for the top business card. And then we'll click the box next to the pound sign again and drag to select. And this time we'll press Control V on a PC to copy. It would be Command V on a Mac. And now you have the color change for both business cards. You could also adjust the shadows for the cards if you want to. So we'll just click the arrow next to the shadows layer group and then click on either of the shadows and then click the down arrow next to fill and drag the slider to the right to make the shadow darker or the left to make it more subtle. And depending on which mockup you purchased, you also have the ability to uh, cycle through all the different backgrounds. So just click the arrow next to the backgrounds layer group to expand that. 
and click the icons next to the different backgrounds to pick the one you like. And once you're all set to save it, you can just go to File. If you're going to use this online on a website, you can go to Export as JPEG to save a JPEG for the web. If you want a layered PSD too, you can come back here again and go to File, Save as PSD. If you wanted to add your own background, you could do that too, just by going to File, Open. And then, you know, just finding a background you did and clicking on it and just copying and pasting it in. It would be similar to how you copy and paste it in your design. You just go to Select All and then Edit Copy. And you just click back on the mock-up and go to Edit. Usually it's a little faster than this, but my computer decided to be stubborn. You just go to Edit, Paste. And it added it to the top layer, so I'm just going to click and drag it to the bottom. That would be how you'd copy and paste in your background. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.